Okay, students, now we are going to see the question number six. Point one mole of Buckminster Fullerin of molar mass. C120 gram per mole. C120 gram per mole. Yeah, you can also read it, students, 20 gram mole inverse. Contains how many kilogram of carbon? In point one mole, how many kilogram of carbon be present, students? Now, here they have given some information. This is the full range, students, the molar mass they have given. C120 gram per mole. Understanding? So, in examination, students, what is given? You have to start from there only. In examination, students, in, because it is given in questions only. So since it is given in questions, in question what is given students? Molar mass. Since here it is given molar mass. C120 gram per mole. Or you can also write mole inverse that is equal students. So one mole students corresponds to how much? C120 gram. So this way you, you can also modify students. C120 gram per mole. Students you can also write. Therefore you can say one mole. One mole. One mole. Of full ring corresponds to how much c120 gram understanding students now here in question they are asking what 0 0.1 mole of buck minister full in now here students when you are talking about full ring it is mostly is what only the it is made up of carbon only understanding so one mole of full ring will having 720 gram of carbon understanding students because full ring is nothing but when you see the formula of full ring students it is nothing but c16 understanding students so one mole of full ring corresponds to 720 gram of carbon understanding so then in question students they are asking 0 0.1 mole 0.1 mole and they are asking what you have to represent carbon in kilogram so students therefore you can also say one mole of full rain is you now you are converting students because in question there are how many kilogram of carbon you have to convert this 720 gram into the kilogram so what happens students you have to divide you are going to divide 720 by 1000 720 gram you have to divide with 1000 when you divide with 1000 students it will convert into kilogram understanding students 720 if, if you have divided it will convert into kilogram of carbon understanding students so it will become 0.72 kilogram of carbon now what happens students because they are asking the amount how many kilogram of carbon 0.1 mole in 0.1 mole students this is for one mole full in corresponds to 0.72 kilogram of carbon then what about therefore 0.1 mole corresponds to how much so you have to multiply 0.1 mole multiplied by 0.72 kilogram that is equals to 0.0 seven two kilogram understanding students so this is the answer so point one mole carbon 60 that is full ring will correspond to our point zero seven two kilogram of carbon so point one mole gram full ring will contains how much how, how many kilogram of carbon so you have to write point zero seven two kilogram of carbon understanding so this is the way students you have to write in examination now students we are going to see one more type of questions question number seven in a cubic crystalline structure now you read the question properly in a cubic crystalline structure of zinc blade zinc sulfide is called as what zinc blade sulfide ions are at the corners and face center while zinc ions occupy the half of the tetrahedral voids now you they are ask the question find the unit cell find the unit cell number of zinc 2 plus ions number of zinc sulfide ions and number of zinc sulfide molecules and you have to write the molecular formula of zinc blade understand students so yes students in a cubic crystalline structure of zinc blade sulfide ions are at the corners of face centered while zinc ions occupy half of the tetrahedral voids understand students so the students you have to draw the structure first because here it is your compound is what zinc sulfide draw the structure students because it is your for your understanding students i am drawing the structure this is the structure students zinc sulfide crystal is there students understanding so you have to draw the diagram like this so this is the crystal students now read the question students sulfide ions are the corners sulfide ions that is yes 2 minus we call as what sulfide ions are the corners so total how many corners are there students total eight corners are there at these eight corners there is a sulfide ions understand you students yes 2 minus sulfide ions are at the corners and face and face center they are also present at the faces sulfide ions are also present at the faces also so total how many faces it has students it has got six faces understanding this is why you understand students and zinc ions zinc ions students occupy the half of the tetrahedral voids zinc 2 plus now students when you're talking about the zinc sulfide zinc sulfide it is made up of zinc 2 plus and sulfide 2 minus understanding students now what is students because now we are talking about how many sulfide will be there students sulfide ions will be present in the cube in crystalline structure students so number of sulfide ions null number of sulfide ions which is negatively charged students so students now you have seen sulfide eight corners they are present so one upon eight of eight that means eight uh, sulfide ions are shared by one upon eight of eight that is equals to one atom plus now the sulfide ions are also present at the faces total how many surfaces they are present at the face that means half of the ions will be shared so total how many sulfide ions are there students at the faces six so you have to multiply by six now when you solve students you are getting one plus three that is four sulfide ions will be there in this cubic 
you crystalline structure understanding students now because jinx now how you are going to find out this so this way you students you got the number of sulfide ions that means you got the answer second answer understanding number of zinc ions number of zinc number of sulfide ions now you students you got four understanding this is the second answer you students now number of students zinc ions how will go present at the tetrahedral tetrahedral whites that means total how many whites are present students total eight whites are there students number of zinc number of zinc two plus ions is nothing but half of the tetrahedral whites so total how many tetrahedral whites are there students total eight tetrahedral whites are present understanding students number of tetrahedral whites will be what eight so it is becoming two ones are two fours are that is four number of zinc molecules will becomes third uh, now your number of zinc molecule systems that is third answer students if you want to find number of zinc sulfide molecule will be what because you have four zinc two plus and four sulfide so formula will be four zinc sulfide molecules so this way you can explain the formula as well as what molecular formula so these are the four molecules of zinc sulfide will be there students understanding so there will be four molecules Understanding students and the formula will be what? Formula will be your formula I have already written that is zinc sulfide. So formula will be zinc sulfide. Understanding students, how many molecules students? Zinc sulfide with four molecules will be there. So this way students you can explain that we have to answer the questions. Understanding students, now we are going to see the students question number eight in a crystalline compounds. Atom A occupy CC lattices, QB close back lattices, while atom B occupy two upon three of tetrahedral whites. What is the formula of the compound? What will be the formula of the compound? Students? Since crystal is what? Since here they have given the crystal is what? CCP type of QB close back crystal structure. Crystal structure. Now, students, you number of atom A because here students atom A occupy at the corners. Atom A occupy CC lattice while atom B occupy one upon three of tetrahedral whites. So number of atoms, number of atom of A element element will be one upon eight of eight plus they are also present at the what? They are also present at the surfaces. One upon two of six. Understanding students? Here it is this crystal cubic close by structure is nothing but you can also write face center cubic structure. Understanding students? So eight elements that is one plus three will be what four atoms. Understanding students? This is the number of atom now you got of A element. Now second question students read B occupy one upon three of tetrahedral whites. B occupies one upon now since students you know since you know cubic unit cell cubic in cubic unit cell cubic unit cell there is it eight tetrahedral whites. Eight tetrahedral whites. Understanding students? The number of atom, number of atom of B element is nothing but two upon three of eight. That is nothing but eight to the six sixteen upon three. Understanding students? Now what will be the formula students? The formula will be A element. How many students? Four. So A four. Now B students. How much? Sixteen. 16 upon 3 now students this can be written as when you want to remove 3 you have to multiply 3 on both the side it becomes a12 and b16 this is the formula students this is the formula this way you can explain the formula of the compound here now we are going to see the question number 9 in a ionic crystalline solid atom of element y this is the y students element symbol y form scp that is hexagonal close by lattices in ionic crystalline solid, atom of element Y forms this element Y is forming what? SCP lattices. Understanding students? Y is forming SCP lattices. The atom of element Yx occupy the th one third of tetrahedral whites. Understand this? Y are present SCP and Yx element is occupy the tetrahedral whites. It is Yx element is present at the whites. What is the formula of the compound? What will be the possible formula of the compound students? So students, first you have to draw the, you know, hexagonal close packing students. Because it is hexagonal students, you have to, the structure will be like this students. This is not uh, only for your reference students. You can draw this is the hexagonal because it is made of hexa hexagonal structure. This way you have to draw the structure students. Understanding students. So this corresponds to this. This will correspond to this. They corresponds to this. And this way you have to draw the structure. So this is the hexagonal close back structure students. Total how many corners are? Now at the corners students, Y forms. Yes students, yeah, question, question C. Y forms SCP structure. Let's see this is SCP 
now at the corners y element will be present students these are the corners total how many corners are there students there will be 12 corners students understanding students now how many surf surface students two surface one above one below understanding this is the yeah hexagonal cl close by that is occupied by what y forms scp structure so y is forming this scp structure the atom of element x next atom x occupy one third of the tetrahedral voids one third of the tetrahedral voids now students how you are going to find the number of atom of y number of atom atoms of y element is equals to what students now total how many one upon one upon six of twelve understanding one upon six of twelve now there is two surfaces students one upon two of two these are the two so one upon six of twelve because it is hexagonal so you have to it is said by one upon six hexagonal uh, unit set so one upon six of twelve plus one upon two of two this is two element of y is shared by half of the other scp half is below so one upon two of two y element so will become students six ones are six twos are that is two plus one that is three understanding number of atom of y element now you got three uh, how you're going to find out the number of atom of x element since here students they have you know since you know six tetrahedral wires tetrahedral wire six element number of atom number of atom of x is equals to one upon three of six understanding students because six there are six tetrahedral wires since there is a word six tetrahedral wires are present in the scp understanding so here the question they are written because the x occupy one third one third is nothing but one upon three understanding students this is one third of tetrahedral wires the total number of tetrahedral wires present in scp will be what six so one upon three of six will be what two so what will be the formula students the formula will be formula of the compound formula of the compound will be we are writing alphabet first x that is x2 and y3 this is the answer students this way you can write the formula of the compound understanding this is very important students now we are going to see question number 10 students a compound form scp structure here also it is forming what scp structure scp structure you know students hexagonal closed pack structure it is made up of what this is the hexagonal closed pack structure students understanding students Understanding this is the hexagonal closed pack structure, students. The compound form SCP structure. What is the number of octahedral wires? The question is what is the number of octahedral wires, tetrahedral wires, and total wires form in 0.2 mole of this compound. 0.2 mole of this compound, students. Since the students, 0.2 mole of the compound is asking. Now only 0.2 mole they have given. But students, you know, since you are knowing, when you are taking any one mole, since you know, students, one mole of compound, any compound, if you are taking, this is having the structure scp one mole corresponds to always corresponds to 6.022 into 10 is to 23 understanding students that is equals to what avogadro number understanding students one mole is nothing but 0 0.022 10 is to 23 atoms understanding students now students what about is asking 0.2 mole so point one mole corresponds to this then what about therefore 0.2 mole corresponds to how much students you have to multiply 0.2 mole 0.2 multiplied by 6.022 into 10 is to 23 understanding students so how much you are getting students 6 twos are 12 so 1.2044 into 10 is to 23 atoms understanding students so this much atoms you are getting In 0.2 mole you have this much amount of atoms 0.1.20044 10 is to 20. Now, students, questions in asking, they are asking a compound form SCP structure. What is the number? He is asking what number? What is the number of octahedral wires, tetrahedral wires, and total wires? Understanding? Form in 0.2 mole of compound. Now, you students, you know 0 0.2, 0 0.2 mole corresponds to this number of atoms. Since students, you are knowing number of octahedral, octahedral, octahedral wires is always equal to. Here we have got 1.2044 into 10 is to 23. Understanding? So this way, students, you got the answer. Number of octahedral wires. Number of octahedral wires always corresponds to number of atoms. Here, 0.2 mole corresponds to 1.2004 into 10 is to 23 atoms. So this number we have taken, students. So this much amount of octahedral wires are present. Since also, students, number of tetrahedral tetrahedral wires are always doubled to the number of atoms number of atoms 
that means it means when you double it it means it will becomes two it will becomes 2.4088 and 10 is to 23 will be as it is understand it means this much number will be there so number of tetrahedral wires you now got number of octahedral wires so total wires total wires total wires will be you have to add these two numbers means one and two you have to add so when you add it means how much you are getting 10 is to 23 will be as it is now when you add it means 4 plus 8 that is two you have to take here when you add it means it will come this much so this much with the total number of wires are coming understand it means so this way it means you have to find the total number of wires understand it? first you have to calculate the number of octahedral wires number of tetrahedral wires now you have to add these two you will get the total number of wires understand students these are very important students if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you